Hello there, everybody! Bonna here, and welcome to a quick tutorial on how to find and gather honey in Ark Survival Evolved. Honey is a perishable resource that has a multitude of uses in the game, including making better food recipes, taming creatures, baiting fishing rods, and even luring wild creatures like a pedophile with an ice cream truck. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Honey is found inside of beehives, which can spawn naturally across the various arcs, or can be crafted and placed manually where you choose. Beehives are typically located in places just out of reach, such as against cliff sides or high up in the redwood trees. This isn't always the case, though, because on some of the arc DLC maps, they can be found simply resting on the ground or inside of giant beehives in extremely large quantities. Before we dive into how to acquire the honey, let's talk about a few different items you're gonna need along the way to make this endeavor easier. Gilly armor is incredibly useful and highly recommended for a few of the different gathering methods, which we'll be getting into more in just a moment. Gilly armor can be unlocked at level 33 using a total of 57 engram points and crafted inside of your inventory's crafting tab. In addition to a full set of ghillie armor, I would highly recommend crafting some bug repellent and cactus broth. Bug repellent is unlocked at level 16 using 12 engram points and can be crafted inside of the mortar and pestle, chemistry bench, or equus saddle. Cactus broth is a cooking recipe that doesn't require any specific level or engram point distribution and can be crafted within a cooking pot or industrial cooker using the following resources. Honey is gathered using one of three primary methods, with some being more dangerous or time consuming than others. The simplest method of acquiring honey is to simply approach the hive and press the use button to gather it manually, awarding five giant bee honey and placing the hive on a 15 minute cooldown. The downside to using this method is that it can be quite dangerous and difficult to pull off. As aforementioned, wild beehives are typically located in out-of-reach places, which means you'll need to build some really janky structures in order to reach it. Alternatively, you could use a crossbow and grappling hook to pull yourself up, but this is quite costly just to get some honey. If you choose to loot the beehive without any gear on at all, the hive will deal an initial 30 damage to you and apply a 10 second debuff that absolutely f**ks you in the ass! Can't get to school now. Wearing ghillie armor and consuming bug repellent before looting the beehive will completely negate this damage, so it's definitely in your best interest to stack these defenses. It's worth mentioning that you can also gather honey inside of the large bee caves on the Crystal Owls DLC map using a hatchet, but this method is pretty niche and extremely dangerous if you're not well equipped. The second method of acquiring honey is to use a tamed dire bear, as they have the natural ability to harvest honey from wild beehives using their alternative attack button. Honey gathered in this manner is multiplied at three times the normal rate, awarding 15 honey instead of five. Harvesting the honey in this manner is also harmless to the hive and doesn't aggro the giant bees inside if it's active. Dire Bears also provide a natural resistance to bees and protect the rider, meaning if you do happen to get swarmed, you won't be dismounted like with other tames. The third and final method of acquiring honey is to simply craft beehives of your own that can passively produce honey over time. Beehives are crafted by converting a tamed giant queen bee into a beehive and placing it somewhere in the open world, using rare flowers as a fuel source. Unfortunately, the process for taming a giant queen bee in order to craft this beehive can be quite daunting for newer players, so let's quickly talk about the process. Giant queen bees are passively tamed using rare flowers and can be found inside of wild beehives, but not every hive houses a queen bee. In order to test if a hive has a queen or not, simply stay at a far distance from the hive and shoot it with a ranged weapon. If giant bees appear outside of the hive once it's been hit, then it's classified as active and houses a queen. The process of finding an active hive can be quite daunting sometimes, and I even struggled finding one just to make this video, so be patient and stay focused while searching. In order to tame the queen bee, we needed to leave the active hive, which means we need to completely destroy it. Now you could always sit back and use ranged weapons to destroy it, but wild beehives naturally spawn with 5000 HP, so it's not the most practical thing to do. Not to mention the sheer number of giant bees that spawn once a hive's been damaged can be quite overwhelming, and generally speaking, if you try this on foot, you're gonna have a bad time! The easiest and safest method for destroying the hive is to use a dire bear, as they're able to damage the beehive incredibly hard with their melee attacks and can protect the rider from being dismounted. Just be sure to set the dire bear to passive and consume your bug repellent and cactus broth before beginning the process. Keep your attacks slow and controlled, as if you're attacking too quickly, you risk killing the queen bee in the crossfire once the hive breaks. You can position your camera or use the spyglass to keep an eye on the health of the hive as you damage it down, but most of the time watching the color tint of the hive is telling enough to how damaged it is. Once an active hive has been completely destroyed, the queen bee will appear and begin to fly around the open area, squeezing out babies faster than Brad and Angelina can adopt them. If you get too close, the drones will attack you, but the queen bee should remain docile. I would recommend letting the queen bee fly around for a moment and kill any drones that are aggroed on you using the dire bear. Once you get to the point where there are no more drones coming at you, you can make your move to tame the queen. The queen bee is passively tamed by placing rare flowers in the last slot of your hotbar, approaching it, and pressing the use button. Once the queen bee has been tamed, it can be picked up and converted into a beehive inside of your inventory and placed somewhere in the open world. Beehives will consume one rare flower every four hours and produce one honey every 45 minutes, making them a fantastic source of safe, renewable honey. 
Opening the beehive's inventory without any gear on or consumables will absolutely slap your biscuit, but wearing ghillie armor and consuming bug repellent will completely negate this damage. So congratulations, viewer! You now have all the knowledge necessary to gather honey in Ark Survival Evolved. Just be careful not to end up like Nicolas Cage. Oh, no, not the bees! Not the bees! Ah! Oh, no, my eyes! My eyes! Ah! All right, well, that about wraps up this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, then please be sure to leave this video a like down below, subscribe to the channel with notifications on to stay up to date on all of my latest content, join the Discord for a community of like-minded woodland creatures, and please keep leaving me comments because they warm my little bun heart. Thank you again so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.